Hey Ratbags, welcome to a very special video today. What the hell is this? This is grounded cut content if it was built in Unreal Engine 5. Big shout out to Spicy, I do believe Apex Predator, and Chillax and an unnamed source who have been helping me get together some of the actual models properly of the cut content, the cut creatures that we don't think we'll ever see in Grounded. Or do we? I've spoken a lot about the Ant Queen possibly coming and the Lizard, and here they are in all their beautiful glory. The models are just astounding. So I do believe they managed to extract the files and they've run it through Unreal Engine 5. So the lighting and everything you're seeing, it wouldn't look like this if they were ever added to the game right now, or maybe, but this is meant to be, I do believe, Unreal Engine 5. If I've got that wrong, do let me know, guys. But otherwise, yeah, these are some of the bugs that were cut from grounded for whatever reason. So we've seen tiny little snippets of gameplay. I've shown you sometimes the lizard a little bit in action. I've got more incoming. That's going to be in another video, maybe of these guys actually moving and some of their animations. But it is just astounding the detail that you can see on these. This is what Grounded could look like in Unreal 5. Now, to be fair, I think if we got all the models in just Unreal 4, they'd still look really good like this. There is something to do with the lighting and the way the world's built, but definitely Unreal 5, I think, is helping more. Just look at that. Look at the detail, how close it is. That looks like it's done. I mean, that one looks like... Now I'm seeing it as a proper model. I always thought, oh, maybe the colours were off. It just weren't the right kind of colours, but... Yeah, I could see that being in the game. That's a silverfish, if you don't know. If you didn't realise, that was part of the content that was ended up being cut. We was meant to get the silverfish shield, I do believe, maybe. Um, but it never really happened. And then, um, obviously, we've got the water striders. Now, these were in-game. I showed you guys these before. Um, and, yeah, they got cut from the pond content alongside the leeches, which I am going to show you as well in some screenshots and stuff later on. That's probably going to be another video, to be honest. Um, this is what the guys got ready for me now. I was going to save it till the weekend, but I thought, you know what? I'm going to show you guys now because it looks pretty cool. Um, and it just looks interesting. It looks like the body does look a bit like the mosquito body, doesn't it? Like the, the tiger mosquitoes. And they ended up going for the water striders instead. And we've got the earwigs. Now, these guys, we know there was an earwig sword in the game, and it looks like that got cut as well. But look at the lighting. It just looks fantastic. Imagine if this was what Grounded could look like if they upgrade their engine. Yeah, I don't believe they really spoke about it too much. I think Adam got asked once, and it was just like, it's not something they're, they're thinking of, really. Um, I can't see why they would now. The game's been out a while. It'd be a bit weird to just upgrade the engine now. Um, but you never know. Maybe it'd be a case of improving things. Like it might be able to do more in terms of savings and performance and stuff. But art-wise, I think Grounded's got its own look anyway. So it doesn't really need to worry about like upgrading to the latest engines and stuff. But yeah, that looks just... It looks phenomenal. It does look good. The lighting in this uh, test world does look amazing. Um, and then... Oh, we've got this bad boy. Look at this. Oh, it's kind of creepy. I mean, they're all creepy, right? When you look up bugs, when especially you put one of the bug stuff bugs down, you start to really analyse and get up close to it. But look at the shine, uh, the reflections of it and stuff. It looks it looks pretty mad. I I can't wait to show you the other stuff. Like I said, it's coming along. I think the boys are going to get me some footage of some of these moving, but also some other crazy stuff, um, which I don't really want to reveal just yet. But look at this. It just looks great. It looks great, the model. So this is the sizing. This would be the scale. So if you can imagine, that was what the Walt Strider looked like. Although I do believe the Walt Strider, it was definitely... I feel like this is a large Walt Strider. I don't know why, but the, the one that we did have in the ponds ages ago, it seemed to be a little bit smaller. The legs were a bit smaller. Or maybe just because it wasn't spread out enough. I'm not too sure, but it does seem a bit larger. But this would be the right kind of scale. So you can imagine... A silverfish is probably about the same size as maybe a ant or soldier ant, maybe just maybe about the same size, a bit smaller, maybe. And obviously, we've got this guy as well, the earwig, probably about the same size as a, as an ant soldier, maybe. Um, and then the lizard, we saw the lizard was pretty high, so we've seen the character, the player, is a, probably about the size of a leg, maybe a bit bigger. So you get the sense of scale and stuff from both of them. But yeah, the lizard looks great as well. Just look at the detail. It just looks amazing. I think this is great. So, are they going to come to Grounded? Well, since Wasps came to Grounded, 
as I told you guys recently, I can't see any reason why none of this stuff might actually end up not coming now in future updates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, don't blame me. Don't blame devs or anything. They might just decide it just doesn't fit anymore. Um, but I'm expecting big things. I was kind of disappointed there wasn't any teaser at all during the Summer Games Fest. I was expecting something. Because I consider that with Nola's fireworks in the game files, I showed you guys them off before. It's getting to the 4th of July in like, what, three weeks or whatever. And then the anniversaries in July, early access release. So I figured they'd have like a nice big chunky update for, for to celebrate that. But you never know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be a while later. So yeah, I was just expecting to see a tease, but we didn't really get one. So there we go. What do you think? What do you like out of them for? I can see really the, the Walt Strider definitely still feels a bit too plain and boring. It's got these weird spindly legs. I just don't like the colouring of it. I know it might be realistic or whatever, but it's just so brown, so beige. Like it needs, it needs just need a little bit more, a little bit more colour life. Maybe the eyes could have been something a little bit more colourful. Like the lizard's got like really deep red orange eyes as well. Is that normal? I'm not a lizard dude. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, because it's not real life, is it? It's grounded. Come on now, it's not. It's not like a ultra photo realistic game. It is a different art style. But damn, some of these bugs look pretty cool, pretty gnarly. Makes me think a little bit of Small Lands seeing them in this kind of detail. And that Small Lands is made in Unreal Engine 4, but their bugs look more realistic. Um, I'm not sure I like it actually. I, I thought I did. I thought it was interesting, but I kind of like that grounded. It's not Pixar like, but it is a little bit more sort of, um, I would say, cartoony. Than, than small lands and but these kind of are I feel like they're blending the gap a little bit it seems just a little bit maybe the eyes are always just a little bit bigger I don't know I don't know anyway there we go so shout out to the boys I'm going to keep showing some stuff off in the future you're going to see some more um, but I couldn't wait any longer I wanted to show you some stuff and there we go big shout out to Envite and everyone else that's been helping out to and show some of this gear to me so, as always, the home of news, leaks, and gameplay. Go and check me out playing Grounded 100 Days. I'm going to get back on it very soon. I will be back very, very soon with more looks at some unreleased stuff. Bye-bye.